All right. I had a, one of my chargers. I don't know what happened. Um, I plugged the battery up. The light wouldn't even come on. Unplugged it, plugged it back in. Still wouldn't come on. There was a short in the wire somewhere. So I decided to repurpose it. And what I did was, you see I cut my wire. I'll show you what I did. Take these apart, you need a, a T10 torque bit. Stick it in. You got two screws. Take your razor knife. Cut down that line right there. Cut down inside here. And just pull it apart. Now your, your wires originally go right here. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this and turn it into a little phone charger. So I cut my wires. I soldered them to the negative side right here as you can see which is this prong here this one here is your positive it goes to right here I wired them up soldered them in put this back together real quick Push it back together, put your screws back in. I'm only using a little four bolt heart uh, drill to do this. You don't need much. Now this is the one I made. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one apart and show you how it works. You got two screws. Some of them only has one, but this one here has two. You got to pull the, the stickers right here off. We won't be using that no more. Pull this screw here out. Take the cap off. Unscrew this little bottom part. You got your spring, thing that holds it together, and you got a little push pin right there. Once you do all that, just take it apart. All right, on this one, on this one here that I did already, this middle, middle spot right here, this is your hot, your positive, and these are your negative. This is nothing but a 12 volt car charger, which works on 20 volt, you use it on 18 volt. Uh, some of them, the, I've gotten a few of these that I've hooked up before and they popped. This little resistor here, it blows up. Nothing gonna hurt you, nothing, no kind of damage really, but it does make them go out. So I usually get to like the ones at Dollar General or something like that, a little bit more expensive. You can go to a dollar store and get them for I think a dollar a piece, dollar twenty-nine store. You can find them pretty cheap. But anyways, what I did is I took two more wires and I hooked to my positive and my negative. On your wires, it's hard to see. You can see that little white line right here. I use this as my positive. And this one right here is all black. A little bit of writing on it is my negative. Just remember which ones you hook where. Now, I made a little base. As you can see, see it's, you know, I colored it like heart. Pulled off a sticker off one of my, old, one of my batteries, as you can tell. 
to put on it. Just something neat. Uh, I wasn't trying to get real fancy with it. I just wanted to uh, repurpose it and do something with it besides just have it, you know, throw it away. What I did is I made this here fit. I drilled me some holes on the inside, going through at an angle so that uh, so that it would hold in there. Some small screws. This little four volt drill is not real strong. What gets me is this little four volt right here is a whole lot stronger than this thing. Bigger motor, I guess. But I like this for a little technical stuff. <clears throat> now what I did is I took my top and I drilled a hole in it so that This here would fit, would fit in, if it's snug. So all I gotta do is push it in. Now the problem I had, my paddle bits, or my hole saw bits, were not the same size as this right here. They were either bigger or smaller. So I took my little stepper bit here. After I drilled my initial hole and just made it to where this would fit in snug. That's all it is. Fits in there snug. I got a clips here. I got, you know, my positive over here. I got a uh, one prong. I, on this other side, I made it to where I knew I wouldn't cross them. Plug them up. Get a little bit of tape. I don't want them touching and when I put it all together. Like I said, you can go fancy or you can just, you know, build something simple like I just did. I thought it was pretty neat, you know, friends come over or whatever. And I sort of like it. Line your pieces back up. Put your screws in. Hold them together. Forward, reverse. Forward up there. Alright, take a battery, slide it in, you see the light come on, I get it out, the lights off, lights back on, look forward to it, and we have charge. Like I said, this is something little, you know, something simple you can do, um, there's nothing fancy about it. As you see, I just put me a few boards together and cut them with my hard chop saw. Uh, made some 45 degree cuts. Nothing fancy. The only thing fancy is me painting it. That's it. As you can tell, it's charging. Now, the ones I got right here are um, one milliamp. They're not real strong chargers. I'm going to upgrade it to this one here which is a dual port and you got a 2.1 amp or one amp charger as of right now this works all right y'all if y'all like this video hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate it